What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. After we explore the options to view our structural model, so this time around, let's start a new project. So in this exercise, we're going to set up a project and transfer its standards to another project. Okay, so let's do this. To start a new project, you need to uh, create a new project and use a template. So let's select here new. And then from the template file, I'm going to use here uh, structural template. So let's select this one and then make sure create new projects is selected, although it's already the default settings. And then I'll just need to select here OK. Okay, so let's just wait. All right, so after that, you here now on your title block, you will now be able to see the name of the project and then the name of the view that you are currently in. So currently you are on Structural Plan Level 2 and you can confirm that to your project browser. You are on Structural Plans Level 2. Okay, so that's how you... Uh, that's how you read your uh, title bar. Okay, so now uh, the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to organize our project browser. So take note that you can uh, change the way your project browser looks like. So you just need to modify the browser organization. So how to modify the browser organization? So what you do is you can right click the views all, just right click that and then you can see here the browser organization. So you can click this one and then as you can see the setting here currently of your views is set to uh, all. Okay, so what you are going to do is you can change Okay, so let's say, for example, you want to see the discipline uh, view. So the settings of the discipline can be found here if you click the edit and then you go to grouping and sorting tab. So you click that and then you can see now the settings of your uh, discipline. So the first one to be shown here on the project browser is the discipline and then followed by family and type in ascending order of the view name okay so let's select here okay and then if i select here apply and then okay this is now how it looks like so it shows the discipline and then the family and type okay so that's how you change it you can also create your uh, settings for the browser organization when it comes to view you can create a new one and then you can uh, edit an existing uh, settings or you can just use the default settings okay now the next thing that I'm going to do here is um, I'm just gonna cancel this one I'm going to modify the browser organization <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna right click browser organization so here I'm going to select edit Okay, right, and then after that, uh, let me just, here on the filtering, you can change this by selecting here, let's say, uh, structural by discipline. And then I want this to be equal to uh, structural. Okay, discipline equal to structural and then I'll just select here okay then okay all right so that's now the the filter of my uh, browser organization okay so you can play around so the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to specify the uh, project information so the project information can be found here on the manage tab and then on the settings panel you can see here your project information tool okay so what you can do here is you can click that and then here you can specify the project information so let's say for example i want to put the name here so this is like uh learning so this is the 
learning with rich and then the organization description let's say lwr building name lwr building so we needed this whenever you set up the project so you need to get this information from your manager or from your uh, beam lead if you are not the beam manager so okay so what else so you can also specify here the root analysis settings you can click edit and then you can specify these uh, settings so Revit will never consider the following as obstacle so by default here your door will not be the uh, obstacle here but you can add here okay you can add all right so i'm just gonna select here okay now for the project issue date so let's say for example today today is june 30 2024 and then the status of the project so let's say uh work in work in progress and then the owner is rich corp the address you need to click the ellipsis button so let's say the address is 111 mac inis let's say uh parkway comma san rafael enter for another line california nine four nine zero three enter usa enter delete okay and then after that select your okay so that's now the address and then this one is lwr training center and then the project number is uh, abc dash zero one dash a okay and then after that just select okay right so we have learned how to specify the settings of our project browser and then the project information now let us define project parameters okay so we are going to create a project parameter so let's say for example here on our view properties we want to add another project parameter because it's not here. Not all the parameters that you needed is already created in properties. Okay? No. So you need to create it uh, manually. Okay? So how to do that? So again, from the Manage tab, you can select here, Project Parameters. Click that. And then these are the available project parameters in your project. But since we are going to create a new one, so let's create. So I'm going to select here a new parameter and then let's put here the name. So let's say I want to add a view purpose parameter. Okay. And then after that, I want that to be instance parameter so that I can see it here on the instance properties because you have two types. So you have instance and then the other one is type uh, properties where in type properties, if your parameter is on this uh, option, you can find it when you click the type here and it will open the type properties window. So that is the time or that's the only way you'll be able to see the view, pro uh, view purpose project parameter or any parameter that you will be creating so you need to click type if you're going to select type here but if it is instance you can see it here on this side already because this is the instance properties so i'm gonna put that on the instance i just want that to be a common discipline now for the type parameter i want to text okay i want to type and then i just want this to be grouped under let's say other parameter okay now for the categories i want that to be placed on the views properties and then after that i'll just select here okay so that's it 
So once I select OK, it will now be added here on the view properties. So OK. Let's look. That's the one. That's the view properties. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do here is, let's say, for example, you have another project. And this project needs to have the same settings of your project number one. So let's say this is going to be my project number two. So let me create a new one. And then I select your OK. All right. So this is my project two. And then this is my project one. So the settings that I would like on my project two is the same as project one. So instead of redoing the whole process, like creating the project parameters, like uh, putting the project information. So instead of doing that, what you can do is you can use transfer project standards. So how does it work? Okay, so project uh, transfer uh, transfer project standard can be found on the manage tab, and then it's here. Where is that? That's the one. So transfer project standard. Okay, so that's the project transfer. Uh, standard. So let's click that one. So it copies selected project settings from another open project to the current project. So make sure the project where you want to copy the settings is also open. So in our case, it's already open. Here's our project one and here's our project two. So be project two being the new project. So let's click this. All right. Okay, so we are going to copy that on project one. Okay, so I'm not going to copy all the settings. So I'm going to select your check none. Okay, so what I want to copy here is the browser organization. Okay, so what else? So I want to copy the, the project parameters. Uh, project parameters. Okay, and that's it. And then I'll select OK. And then you will now be able to see this. As you can see, we just copied this one. So I'm just going to override that. And there you go. So this is my new project. So as you can see, if I move the slider down, so there is the project parameter. I don't need to create that because I already copied that from the previous project. And if I check out my browser organization here, if I check the uh, discipline and select here, edit. So as you can see, the filter is copied as well, right? So the settings of my browser organization also copied. Okay, and let's also check the project information. Did we copy the project information? No. So we didn't copy the project information. So let's try doing that as well. Let's copy that. Transfer project standards from project one, check none. Do we have project information here? We have, okay, override. Okay, let's check it out. Project information, there you go, right? Okay, so basically that's how you, that's the basic way of setting up your project. Of course, there's a lot of things that you need to consider, but since you are just starting using Revit, so that's the basic way. So you will now be able to start doing your project. Okay, so next video, we are going to add levels. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.